adding mentally can also uh, can also include uh, moving numbers from one to the other. So when you're adding numbers like 99 to another large number, if you think of 99 as 100, then this problem could be seen as 133 plus 100. Notice I've taken 1 from 134 to make it 133. And I've given 99 that extra 1. So it's the same amount, just written differently and easier to add. So now you're only adding the hundreds. 133 plus 100 is 233. Now another way that I have kids think of this is if you take 134 and you add 100, that's 100, uh, 234. Since you've added one, you just take that one off the top of 234 and you end up with 233. So 99 or even 98 can be solved in your head by thinking of the number that it's very close to, by estimating one or two away from 100. Now there's another way that you can use that same strategy. I'll keep that up so you can see. But there's another way to use the same strategy where if you have 37 and 25 and you want to think of, you want to get one of these numbers to the closest 10. If you change 37 to 40, you've added three numbers. You've added three. If you take three away from this side and you have 22, it's easier to only add the tens place and get 40 and 20 being 60 plus 2. 22 plus 40 is 22, 32, 42, 52, 62. So that makes it easier if you think of the numbers, if you add 3 to one side and take away 3 from the other. You could do the same thing by bringing 25 up to 30. You've essentially added 5 to the problem. And you're going to take 5 away from this side. So it's 32. 32 plus 30 is much easier to add in your head because you're only adding the tens place. 32 plus 30 is 62. So you can see that the answer on both sides is still the same. Adding mentally isn't something that has to be done one way every time. Adding mentally is a way for students to understand that numbers can be manipulated in different ways. As long as the answer is correct and that they can explain how they got their answer, then I am one that supports students' abilities to add mentally as long as they can explain why the answer is correct. Feel free to work with your, with your child, with your student, to practice these types of strategies. And that's it for adding mentally. Thank you.